All right, so in this problem, I have eight to the power of x is equal to 80. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log eight to the power of x is equal to log 80. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move this exponent b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log a to the power of x, and I can move x to the front. So now I have x times log a is equal to log 80. Now I'm gonna divide both sides by log a. These two cancel out. Now I have x is equal to log 80 over log a. Now log 80, I can write as log 8 times 10. And I have this over log 8. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log a times 10 is equal to log 8 plus log 10. And I have this over log 8. Now this is the same thing as log 8 over log 8 plus log 10 over log 8. Now log 8 and log 8, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 10 over log 8. Log 10, that's equal to 1. So I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over log 8. Now log 8, I can rewrite as log 2 to the power of 3. And I can move 3 to the front. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3 times log 2. Now log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus 1 over 3 times 0 0.301 is 0 0.903. And 1 over 0 0.903 is 1.0174. Sorry, 1.1074. So this is equal to 2.1074. All right, so in this problem, I have x over two to the power of x is equal to 16. So to solve this, I'm gonna first start by rewriting 16 here as two to the power of four. So now I have x over two to the power of x is equal to two to the power of four. Now, I'm going to take the power of 1 half on both sides. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half. Now, x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, well, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So x over 2 to the power of x to the power of 1 half, I can multiply x and 1 half. So now I get x over 2 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 4 to the power of 1 half. That's 2 to the power of 4 times 1 half. 4 times 1 half is simply 2. So now I have x over 2 to the power of x over 2 is equal to 2 to the power of 2. Now, I'm going to let the variable y equal x over 2. So now if I substitute in y for x over 2, I have y to the power of y is equal to 2 to the power of 2. And if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 2. 
Now, remember we set y equal to x over 2. So if y equals 2 and y is also equal to x over 2, this means that 2 is equal to x over 2. So now, if I multiply both sides by 2, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to 4. So this is my answer. Alright, so in this problem, I have m to the power of 9 plus m to the power of 6 is equal to 36. So in the first, we write m to the power of 9 as m to the power of 3 to the power of 3. And we write m to the power of 6 as m to the power of 3 to the power of 2. And this is equal to 36. Now, I'm going to let m to the power of 3 equal to the variable t. So now I have t to the power of 3 plus t squared is equal to 36. Now, if I subtract 36 on both sides, oops, sorry, these two cancel out, and now I have t to the power of 3 plus t squared minus 36 is equal to 0. So now to solve this, I'm just going to start, I actually need to find one value of t to find the rest. So to do that, I'm just going to start plugging in values. So if I plugged in 0 here, that would just be negative 36. If I plugged in 1, that wouldn't work. 2, that would be 2 to the power of 3, which is 8, plus 2 squared, which is 4, minus 36, which would not work. 3, that would be 27 plus 9 minus 36, which would work, because 27 plus 9 is 36, so I have 36 minus 36 is 0, which is right. So t equals 3, that's our... That's the value, that's one value of t. So now that we have that value, we can find the rest of the values. So what I'm going to do is, from here, I'm going to rewrite this as t to the power of 3 minus 3t three squared plus 4t squared minus 36 is equal to 0. And now, if I factor out t squared from t to the power of 3 minus 3t three squared, I get t squared times t minus 3, plus, now I have 4, times t squared minus 9. Now, this is the same thing as t squared times t minus 3, plus 4 times t plus 3, times t minus 3, is equal to 0. Now, if I factor out t minus 3, I get t minus 3, times t squared plus 4t plus 12 is equal to 0. So now this gives me two equations. I have t minus 3 is equal to 0, meaning t is 3, and t squared plus 4t plus 12 is equal to 0. And this is actually going to be result in no solutions. So t equals 3 is my only value. And remember how we set m to the power of 3 equal t. So if m to the power of 3 is equal to 3, this means that m is equal to the cube root of 3. 